Hello guys and welcome to Pirate Patrol. So this is a sci-fi tactical RPG where you have to send fighters on missions, uh, loot the ships that you destroy, upgrade your ships and train new officers and pilots. This is in uh, alpha at the minute, is it on early access in Steam and um, the devs have kindly given me a free key to try this out so we'll just have a little look at the gameplay and see what it's all about. So let's get into it, let's try the, we'll put the tutorial on just so we can see how the game plays and everything because it does say it's quite a bit complicated to play, so let's start a new game. And we've got to assign six pilots, okay, so you get the speed piloting skills and the criticals which is their ability to critically damage enemy fighters. Okay, so he looks pretty good, we'll go for Tomcat, we'll have him. And we'll go for Nova Knights. Uh, his speed's not good, but his critical's quite high. All right, we'll go for him. And then we'll go for some speedy guys. Uh, 0.87 Boxer, we'll go for him. 0.76 Wraith, and one more. We shall pick 0.9. He's pretty rapid as it goes. Nighthawk's probably the fastest on there. Okay. Nice, right, so we've got six assigned pilots. So next we need to assign our fighters. So this is the ships that we can deploy. Um, it tells you their speed, HP, and their radar range. Okay, so we'll pick Thunderbirds, he's got quite a big range. Galactic, Helix, uh, Blitz, Full Main, and Quantum. Nice, right, so we've got six fighters. Next, we need to pick our officers. So, we need to pick one um, EXO officer, one tactical officer, and one engineer. So, I don't think they've got any different abilities at the minute because it hasn't been implemented. So, pick any of these. We'll go for Zenith Zero and Zero Zodiac and our Engineer Officer we would have Thunder. Right, okay, let's get into it. Father, enemy fighters are coming towards us. We're Goddamn outnumbered. robots, they're lethal. Father, I need fire support. Now, there's a bit of a backstory here. Yeah. It's artificial intelligence robot warriors secretly produced and funded by evil corporations intent on overthrowing the Federation and establishing a corporate corporate corporatocracy where large corporations would dominate attack targets that would cause strategic, economic and social outrage. Realising that political leaders and countless bureaucrats were being bought off by evil corporations, the Federal Intelligence Service, the FIS, waged a secret war against the monopolies, launching a top secret operation with a legendary pirate captain. Okay, so there's a bit of a backstory. And the FIS delivered the prototype warship, the Father, with the technological, technological capabilities to fight artificial intelligence to the one warrior they sure the giant monopolies could not buy. Captain Lionheart, the legendary pirate who had fought the giant monopolies all his life. Right, okay, let's get into it, let's start the game. Here we go, so Galaxy Map. Captain, welcome to the Federate Intelligence Service on a newly developed prototype carrier, the Father. I'm your counseling officer, Alia. The reputation as a legendary pirate captain is well known. Many officers on board are aware of it, and of course, some have worked with you on our, on our covert operations. Please keep in mind that this advanced patrol carrier is still in a prototype stage, and while you may contribute to its design, the ship's true capabilities have yet to be revealed and still unfamiliar, even to us. We'll push the prototype to its limits as we test it. The FIS wants you to use your experience to intense conflict with the robot gangs to perfect the ship's design. Once the ship's design is complete, our mission will begin to uncover who's running these AI gangs and who's behind them. Captain, I suggest you press escape now and have a look at the help section and then return. Left click on the file, the symbol on the map. You can move it with the right click. The distress signals on the map indicate emergencies detected. Okay, so these are emergencies that we can go and check out. Let's click on the father and let's move over to this distress call. Work our way over there. And if you 
click on the different sectors here, it just tells you a little bit about them. So this is all the battle screen. The father's tactical interface is designed to enable you to command over crucial details on the battlefield at the top of the interface from the map and the radar. So this is my radar at the top. Uh, the red signals of the radar are enemy contacts. Green are our fighters and yellow represents our mothership. Okay. The father's tactical interface system is compatible with the neural network technology brought us. The neural network can be speed, sped up or slow down. Okay, yeah, so we can change the speed of the battle, you can press the fighter number to select a fighter you can press shift and turret number to select the turrets on the mothership or press the mouse click, ok so we can control these turrets as well the loot useful technologies from enemy shipwrecks, you must first scan them, you can then loot the detected parts you can use the father and fighter configuration interface to examine the technology you have scavenged and upgrade your ship You may find useful pieces of debris from enemy ships. To loot, you must first scan these wrecks. After scanning, you can loot the parts you found. To scan, select a fight and right click on the wreckage. To loot, select a fight and right click on an item. Okay. And these are different interfaces for the different fighters. So we've got launch, call back to hangar, call back all fighters, rapid fire, turbo, missiles, escort, and abort. You can keep track of the ship's activities in the hangar interface. You can toggle the hangar interface on and off with the H button. Please do not forget to review our detailed control schematic in the system. Press C to center the camera on the farther. Press S uh, for emergency stop. And you can unselect fighters with the UK. Okay. There we go. So let's have a quick look. So we've just got these commercial freighters here. We've got a couple of AI enemies over there. There is this asteroid there which we can scan. And there's one there as well. So let's pick on that fighter. Let's scan that asteroid. Let's get Tomcat to go scan that asteroid, and it looks like we have got some enemies incoming. Yeah, so there are. I want to go for these airliners. There we go. So we're scanning the asteroid now, so we should get some material from that. And while we're doing that, let's get all the fighters to take off. And then let's go take these. Okay, so I can only get two at a time, so let's move forward with the ship. That one has been scanned. I don't want to destroy that, do I? Get him to go over there. I'm going to take some of these ships out. Head over here. And at the bottom left we've got our turret, so we can find each turret. Okay, so they are opening fire. Right, let's get these out the hangar. Right, you can attack him, you can attack him. Right, let's send the fort jets over there. There we go. one's going to attack that one and we can if we wanted to use the turret on there so if we select that that big turret should turn around Ok, 
Okay, nice. Deb and destroy. We have got that debris there as well. So if we select that and the ship, let's go on this debris. See what we pick up. Same with that one. Let's go get that. Okay, nice. What we found. Found a prototype of some sort on that one, and that one is a fight. We found a what? Fight a weapon, is it? So can we go and pick that up now? Right click to loot. Yeah, there we go. Right click that one. Let's loot that one. there as well so it's got a neural network how much credits we've got on our officers I think that's it to be fair right let's head out let's get all these ships back and we'll head over to the uh, asteroid over here we can always find that one there so this is what we've looted Pulse uh, cannon, neuron beam, we've got a event horizon blaster, we've got a wave emitter and a nebula impactor. Okay, nice. Start info screen, so we've got our officers there, it tells you what skill they've got. Fighters, we've got pilots, this is our cargo hold. This is where you actually modify your ship. So we can, if we wanted to, upgrade the engine, put a mod on it, get a neural network chip, combat server, all that kind of stuff. Small asteroid there, right? Let's press S. Let's go and destroy this asteroid. Use that one to attack that. There we go. Nice. And then, I don't know why it keeps spinning. Really annoying. Destroy that asteroid before it crashes into us. There is another asteroid there, so let's go and scan that one. Well, let's get Tomcat out, let's launch him, and then he can go and scan that asteroid.
Uh, so that one's scanned. Uh, once you've completed the mission, you can earn money by selling information on the remaining scanned asteroids in the area. Oh, so we just sell the information once we get back. So let's turn that ship and let's get out of here. Let's go. This will be the end of the uh, mission. So at the end of your battle, you get a battle report, tells you how many enemies you destroyed, how many asteroids you've scanned. So we've got two, which we've got 28 credits for. Uh, ruins, enemy wrecks, spaceships, fighter losses, none. Uh, scanned enemy wrecks, two XP for that. Captain. Okay, so the captain, the Federal Intelligence Service has requested information on some unsolved files into the archives. I've projected the FIS questions onto your control panel. 35 years ago, during the Great Pirate Revolt, you led one of the pirate factions in a joint revolt against the central government. This rebellion was a great opportunity to overthrow the corrupt political system that had been entrenched in the soul sector for hundreds of years. Exploiting our civilization, you were one of the most ardent rebels, the pirate faction. You led raided powerful navy ships in the early days of the rebellion. Okay, so. But when the notoriously cruel pirate captain Harkon Arakam attacked federal colony and massacred all the civilians you hunted him down and killed him mercilessly what did you do why did you do this okay so it gives you like an option here so depending on what option you pick you get I'm guessing that's skill points so the mask of betrayed pirates are terrorists and prevent us from gaining public support and that will give you merciful one weapons five or can go brutal intelligence my ex-lover lived in the colony slaughtered when i learned of her death i couldn't resist revenge and then I burned him alive. Nice. So, yeah, we'll go for that one. During the corporate war, you raided the container ships of the food monopoly and distributed the captured food to the colonies of other monopolies. Um, but I'm finally offered you a fortune as ransom to stop the attacks. You accepted the offer. Why? Uh, we'll go for intelligence and power on that. You were 35, you had a daughter, your wife, and a second mate on your pirate ship was killed in a skirmish with a hostile pirate faction as you tried to raise your daughter without a mother or grandparents who didn't want to be gone why didn't you accept this offer go for brutal we'll have power with that we'll go intelligence and power plus 10. okay nice so this is my character now captain lionheart's intelligence uh piloted weapons everything's on 20 my reputation is neutral uh the skills i've got Uh, watching eyes, which gives me plus five to characteristics of all officers on board. I've got the pirate spirit, improves the speed and fuel consumption. Mechanical geek, which is repair speed, 5%. Security specialist, uh, more efficient to prevent information leakage. High explosive warheads, finding that asteroid. Uh, time and space, AI. Okay, so quite a few skills at the minute but here's early access to just say I just integrating the RPG and skill system into it so they're just testing it at the minute so let's carry on with that okay captain in our engagement with the AO drones we obtained crucial data about the father systems you're now free to test the prototype I recommend recommend entering Mars as orbit to repair damage and replenish ammunition unless further orders come from the FIS command you can visit planetary orbits and engage ship ship gangs waiting for their victims in orbit Okay, right, so let's have a look at our ship. So what have we got here? We have got some nebula impactor there. Ready to fire in 13 seconds, damage 42. We've got an asteroid swarm over, well, that's gonna be a bit better, I think. Um, these, I don't think I could afford these, can I? Well, I can't afford them, but I don't think I can equip them at the moment. 
into Stellar Pulse Cannon, which I've already got. Okay, so let's head over to Mars, <clears throat> have a look in the orbit. School, but we've entered the Mars's orbit now, and there's quite a few little drones. There's quite, a few, yeah, there's quite a few actually. So we've got a couple of asteroids to scan as well. Are they going to come straight over? Yeah, let's send Tomcat out. Let's go scan that. You can take off. I'm just going to scan that. It's a bit laggy. You know what? Right, let's call him back. Have to take care of all these ships first. Right, they're coming over, let's wait for them to come over. Let's try and take them out with the turrets if we can. Uh, let's select all my turrets. Back. I think it's out of range now. Move the ship forward. Let's engage. Get the fire at us already. Okay. So right, let's get the turrets and let's take that one out. Oh, so I to spin straight away. Take the pilots out. Let's undock these pilots. So down here under there, it actually tells you what target the turrets attack in and tells you how much HP they've got left. Get another one out. Okay, critical system. So, Tomcat, you probably need to come back. Let's turn you. Needs to come back as. Oh no, it's Tomcat again, right? Tomcat, you need to come back. Right, okay, he's docked. That should heal him up. I think we can repair him once he's in there, yeah. So his health does go up. And it tells you on here, I think that's fuel there, that's how much ammunition they've got left. Send another one out. Let's 
Let's get the big one to take out. Get there. And then we'll get these little plasma cannons to attack that one. Sentinel, you return. Let's get Wraith out. We can't save the ship, where is he? I'm over now, he's already over there. Yes, you need to return over now, so. Turn. Overnight, I'll say it. ship's gone. Okay, so we have a ship down. And where's Boxer? Boxer needs to come back as well. Okay, now ship one's droid there. Let's take the big turret onto that one. Systems droid. You can't go anywhere. Right, just sitting duck now. Brilliant. And um, while we are doing that, let's take off on the car and we'll get him to go and scan that shipwreck. We we'll get another one out there as well. Scan all the rest of these. Scan the uh, shipwrecks. Are you going to scan that? Plan? Yeah, there you go. Right, you're scanning that one. This one can scan that one. You scan there. You scan there. And there is another one I need to do, so I'll wait for Tomcat to finish. See what we find. something, what's that? Rare loot and common loot, it looks like another one of these turrets. Well, we'll take it.
Um, let's go scan that asteroid as well. Fast neural interface initialized. Uh, let's turn all of them. Uh, apart from Sentinel, I want you to go and scan this asteroid. It's gone back. Right, you take off and go and scan this asteroid. Is that fully scanned? Oh, Even there. Uh, I think it's fully scanned. Move the mothership over here. I can scan this asteroid as well. Some XP. Don't know you can come back to ship. Push that asteroid out of the way. There we go. So it's on cat, you're going to scan that one. And then destroy that. Destroy that one. And another ship out to go and scan these asteroids. Okay, now I saw reached a new level. Right, you're going to scan that one. There we go. Why doesn't this one scan that? There we go, scan it. Click on it a couple of times for it to register. Let's wait for them to do it and then we have leveled up actually. While they're doing that, we'll just head to the exit. All the ships back and let's get out of here. Okay, so enemies destroyed. I've got seven XP for that. Scan enough droids, four, so I've got 45 credits. Scanned enemy Rex 5, fighter losses 1. Logistics cost was 758. And my armor and HPs are still at 44% at the minute. I do need to buy another ship at some point. So I'm still on level one at the moment and nothing else has gone up. 
Okay, I did pick up some more weapons. So what we got here? We've got a Hyperion Blaster at the minute, which is uh, DPS 6.46 and damage 22. Have I got a better one than that? Yes, that one. One's a beast. We've got DPS 15 on that and 53 damage. We'll definitely put that in. We go, look at that, we've got a Solar Flare Cannon now. Deals energy damage. And Galactic Surge Blaster. Is 0.92 damage per bullet with a DPS of 0.23. So I could swap these little mini turrets actually. Hmm, it's not even better, is it? Turn speed 3.67 and ready to fire in 4 seconds. Uh, 4 seconds, critical damage. Now, so you get better critical damage with them. So let's put one of these onto a mini turret. Let's put it on that side, there we go. And um, what missiles have we got? We've got a quantum wave emitter and a nebula. I think my asteroid storm is still slightly better. Uh, we have got a Galactic Storm Cannon as well. Right, let's put one of them on. Let's mix it up a little bit. So I need to recover my HP, so I must be able to dock at some sort of station. Field around Mars again. Um, we've still got more, but I am actually a get that one as well. Well, we're gonna have to go for it. Let's try these new uh, weapons out. Let's try this big meaty solar cannon out. So, solar cannon, right? You go for this shit there. Yes, that's got quite a lot of health actually. Oh, let's get some of the fighters out. Let's go. Reinforcements, yeah, I'm trying to get you some reinforcements, dude. Jam communications. Okay, right, nice, so we've got the fighters out. Get the solar turret onto this beast here. Lost another ship. Where is he? Tomcat. You come back or you eject? Yeah, no, it's right. We've got him back in. So, this turret's a bit of a beast actually, so I'm going to take all these out. Another ship.
Oh, shit. All these come back. Uh, we've got the bridge here as well, so what's that? Um, it's like a bomb that I could pump out. There we go. Or is this a deploy? I think this might be a deployable. Yeah, let's put that there. Yeah, oh, nice. So it's a deployable um, gun. We can just put out of space. It just gives us 500 ammo. Nice. How many of these can I put out? Oh, no. I'll stick another one there. Oh, I could put these out, but I think it just uses up your resources. That was your there. And your credits. Well, these two managed to make it back. Let's destroy this one. What the hell? I've just destroyed my ship. Okay, right, I need to figure out how you actually repair your ship. It said dock at the station, but it doesn't give you much more information than that. Okay, fair enough. All right, there we go. I think that's it for the playthrough of this uh, Space Pirates game. Let me know what you think of it, guys, in the uh, comments. I think it uh, seems pretty decent. It's got a, uh, you can tell it's in the alpha stage. Um, if you do load it up, like it tells you a development roadmap, um, what they're doing. Galaxy maps are nearly complete, character creation, map update, companies, factions. Yeah, so you've only got like 40% of the tutorial at the minute, so it's just a bit of guesswork. Load and save settings hasn't been incorporated into it yet. But there we go for it. Yeah, so I can't even save my game or continue. It's not very early access. But I think it's got potential. They keep updating it, keep on top of it, it kept uh, lagging a little bit, but there we go. Let me know what you think, guys, and I will see you in the next one.